Hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew, your instructor, and in this video I'm going to show you uh, two things. I'm going to show you how to save a macro-enabled document correctly, how to save it correctly, and I'm going to show you how to enable macros in Word 2016 if you're using a Windows-based PC. On my screen I have a document, and let's say that I have a macro that I recorded and it's saved as part of this document. So when I save this document, I need to save it as a macro enabled document. To do that, I go and perform the same procedures and steps that you do when you're saving anything. So I would go to the upper left corner and click File, then click Save As and decide where I want to save this file to. Once I've decided where I want to save this macro enabled document, I need to give it, of course, a file name. So I'm going to give it the name macro report May 2018. But before I click Save, I need to go here where it says Save as Type and choose something other than Word Document. So I'm going to click the drop-down menu for Save as Type and I'm going to look for in the list this, the Word uh, Macro Enabled Document. If you save it as a regular Word document, then when you try to run the macro in the document, it won't work. So you have to do it this way, Word Macro Enabled Document. Once you select the correct file type, then you can click Save. Now, if you receive a document from someone else and you know that there's a macro in it and you are convinced that it's from a safe source, there's nothing to worry about, no viruses or anything like that coming from this this source or this person, then what you might have to do is enable the running of macros on your computer. Here's how to do that. In Word, you click the File tab, then in the bottom left corner you click Options. In the Options window, click Trust Center. And on the Trust Center page, click Trust Center Settings. At the top of this, this page, you have macro settings you can select. The usual default setting in Word 2016 and for Windows computers is usually one of the ones up here that are already disabled. This is to help protect your computer from potential viruses or Trojan horses or worms. So what you want to do then is change it from any of the disabled choices to this one enable all macros even though it's not recommended and that potentially dangerous code can run. This is why it's important to know where your macro enable document is coming from, who created it, and is their computer can protect it. They might even have inadvertently included a virus in their macro or in their, comp in their document that they sent you. So as long as you are sure that the document is safe to use, you can click here, Enable All Macros. So when you have this choice selected, Enable All Macros, then just click OK. Click OK again. And then when you open their document and try to run their macro, it'll run. In your own document that you created yourself, if you created the macro yourself and, and saved it as a macro-enabled document, you don't have to necessarily set up your options to enable macros. It should run okay, but if it doesn't, then you know where to go to make that happen. 